If your clay is too dry to work with, there are a couple of options to rehydrate your clay. I had rolled this out and covered it in plastic, but I didn't seal it well enough and I didn't check on it, so it got kind of leather hard and I need it to get back to soft so I can roll it into a cylinder. You can wet some paper towels and then wrap your piece. Tuck the plastic underneath the wear board. Or for a tighter seal, you could wrap the piece in plastic. Another option to rehydrate your clay or also just help keep moisture in your environment for storing clay is to use a plastic container with water and add a sponge inside. You don't need a lot of water in the container. The sponge just kind of helps keep your moisture. Place your damp paper towels on your piece and store in a plastic bag. Then add, I call this your humidifier, add your humidifier into your bag and seal tightly. If your slab is flat, you can put this container gently on top of the clay or you can just put it on the side. Make sure you store your project with the plastic bag tucked underneath to seal it. This will help keep out air and keep the moisture inside of your bag. Another option to rehydrate or to store projects is using a damp box. A damp box is a plastic container that has plaster poured inside of it. If your plaster is getting dry, spray it with water. I call plaster and clay frenemies. They are friends in that plaster will absorb moisture. One way to reclaim or recycle clay is using a plaster bat. Put your recycled clay on the plaster and the plaster will absorb a lot of that moisture and then your clay is ready to re-wedge as nice soft clay. Plaster and clay are enemies in that you don't ever want to get pieces of plaster in your clay. Be careful you don't have any pieces of plaster that will chip off in your damp box and get into your clay. I'm going to take my slab that's too hard and place it in my damp box. Again, I'm just going to spray it lightly with water. Then I'm going to seal this up and come back and check on it every couple of hours to see if I need to add water or to see if it's soft and ready to use. The great thing about using a damp box is that even though I sprayed water, the plaster will absorb a lot of that moisture so that your clay isn't getting slimy on the bottom. If I tried to use a plastic container with a lid without plaster in the bottom, the bottom would just turn very, very soggy with all that water sitting at the bottom. That's why it's nice to use a little bit of a porous surface as a wear board so that the porous surface will absorb a little bit of that moisture on the bottom of your piece. When you spray it with water, it won't get too soggy.